So we not take no long talk from the dogs Cause man a raving in wolves Chief of his sound the alarm Sound it Cause man a raving in Man a raving So we not take no talk from the dogs Cause man a raving in wolves Chief of his sound the alarm Sound it Cause man a raving in wolves Chief of his sound the alarm Sound it Cause man a raving in wolves Chief of his sound the alarm You know, sister, man, I've been straight from the basement Find it on the mission, now we concentrating, trading When we touch the road, no hesitating Everything get on fire when we hit the pavement We see no black, them are meditating One set of evil and perpetrating Preacher boy retire They ain't let me put in any word Them want me to retire You don't see how we are All that jackass Break away a cry It now go be too long Before we try down Dutty Babylon It now go be too long Wanna fire upon Dutty Satan This is gonna take the top From the top Cause man a rip in it Oh, oh, oh You see it all Cause it's only a lot So Cause man a rip in it Oh, I rip in it Oh, man a rip in it Man a rip in it
Jones right now. Hope he is watching with us. Why don't we talk? Why don't we talk? Why don't we talk? Why don't we talk? What again? Your show started just now. Don't, don't forget Israel. Grab your notebook. Grab your pen. Tell your grandmother. And all the books you see. Raven rules back on the air. All those kids you let us train. Wait time your judgment. C'est Benjamin qui parle pas l'air Kill it, set it off Be smoke My weapon is automatic, no reload Me and my brothers running through the city though Every corner get deep though We're special type that never seen before Dream of the crap, break them all Tell the op, pipe up, they be dead with the sword Many bodies get cut out Hey, you in a room full of slayers down They talk it if you want to try it, luck, uh Hey I'm addicted to the warfare. Spirit bomb, many bodies when it's smoke clear. Put them up, we can start a bonfire. Better get started with the illness when it comes out to the wire. Don't forget, see if I love a papa, leave for me. Got me pet. Put us some little guy, at least who got pay. Love it, pet, pep, la, 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 Si et pas la loi, papa, les femmes et douche. Pour assembler Israël, il se porte. Si et pas la loi, papa, les femmes et douche. Pour assembler Israël, il se porte. N'a pas la vêtement, peuple, la loi, c'est champou. Pas et pas la danse, c'est pour nous vendre déjà l'eau. Allez, parlez, y'a pas comme ça, y'a pas. Parlez, ça y'a pas, c'est pas parole, mon dieu. Allez, moi, dis-moi. 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 Allez, moi, dis-moi.
My voice is most about to get started. Hey. Thank you for joining in. Raven the Wolves Radio Show. Every Sunday. Shalom Israel, Mosa and Christ bless. Mosa and Christ bless. For Mosa and Christ bless you all, man. You are tuning into another week of the Raven and Wolves radio show, man. You know, we're back. Back at you all live and direct. You know what I mean? Bringing in that nice Sunday afternoon. You know, I hope all you brothers and sisters is having a great day. I hope you are being safe out there. You know, so... So yeah, man. So today we got I got me with me, Officer Giles. Shalom, Israel. Most High Christ bless. You know I got with me. You wanna say something? I got I got Amaziah here with me. Just just say something in the mic, man. <laughs> hey, Shalom, Most High Christ bless. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you almost messed the camera up too. Oh man. All right. So hey, and we also got. We got Northern Kingdom in the booth too. We got um, we got Joel. You know what I mean? He 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 on IT. Him and um, DJ Elves, and we also have um, Soldier Jordan here also. You feel what I'm saying? You know. So hey, so Israel, you know we gonna be going in on the heathens that are called by God name today. Right. You know what I mean? The heathens that are called by God name. That's what we gonna be touching on today. You know what I mean? So let's get into it, man. You know, but before let's get into it. So, so um, you all know what been going on these last couple months. You all see what been taking place with all the attacks against the Israelites. You understand where where um Amalek or Esau is attacking us and calling us anti-Semitism, right? Anti-Semites. You know I mean? Anti-Semites. And when brothers or celebrities rise up and say that we are the real Jews, you all see how they are being castrated and so forth. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go into the scriptures and show you all who are the heathens that are called by God's name, man. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to do. But before, I'm going to, before I go into that, I want to touch on some real quick. I want to touch on the Holocaust. All right, I want to touch on the Jewish Holocaust because every every year, every day, you know, every you always hearing something about the Jewish Holocaust, how six million Jew um Jewish people was killed right. in World War Two. You always hearing about that, right? You feel what I'm saying? Every every time you turn around, you hearing about that, or they doing a movie about it, or so forth, right? But is that written in the Bible? Does the Bible talk about what took place in World War II? Yes, it does. And I'm going to show you all, and I'm going to show that to you all right now. You know? So I want you to go to Revelation 6. Revelation 6. And I want you to start at, um, start at verse 4. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And and there was given him a great sword. So so I want to pause there. I will read it again. Read it again and let me break it down. You understand? Why were you all to understand, brothers and sisters? Listen, the true you all are dealing with the prophets of God, man. Now we got the we got the answers for you. Right. You know what I mean? We're gonna show you the Holocaust in the Bible. Right. You understand? We're gonna show you World War II in the Bible. Okay, read that again for me. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon. It says there went forth another horse that was red. 
Why does it say another horse that was red? Because when you go to Genesis, Genesis 25, it talk, it's going into Esau. It's going into Edom, the so-called white man. Right. Let me get that in Genesis. Yeah. Get that in Genesis. It's referring to Edom. That's why it says... That that that's why I refer to that horse of, of that horse has been red. Right, right. Okay. Genesis twenty five verse twenty five. And the first came out red, all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So a lot of time when you read the Bible and it make reference reference to some being red or so forth, usually it's referring to Esau. You understand? So go back to Revelation and read that again. Revelation chapter 6 verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon. And power was given to him that sat on the horse. Read on. To take peace from the earth. To take what? To take peace from the earth. So when was peace taken away from the earth? And by who was peace taken away from the earth by? I'm going to tell you all when peace was taken away from the earth. Um, let me get that scripture that says um, the first war passed it and the second war coming. It's in the same. It is. Is in the same chapter. Same chapter. Not same chapter. Same. Um, same Revelation. Book. Just type in. Whoa. Hold on. Eh. That just. That just came to my. That just came to my head, man. Okay. Reverse. Re- yeah. Revelation chapter nine. Verse 12. Revelation chapter 9, verse 12. And uh, one woe is past. One woe is past, meaning when it says one woe, it's talking about World War I. World War I is past. Read on. Behold, there come two woes more hereafter. There come two more woes, meaning what? They come, you're going to have World War II, and then you're going to have World War III. <laughs> World War Three is when Christ is going to return. Right. World War Three is when is is when the rapture is going to take place. Right. Where we going to be delivered? You understand? World War Three is when Michael the, is that time of trouble that never been since there was a nation on this earth. Right. You understand? That's World War Three. You understand? So read it again one more time. Revelation chapter nine verse twelve. One woe is past. One woe is past. Read on. World and War One. Read on. And behold, there come two woes. So it's two more war. Two more wars got to take place on this earth. No, one more war got to take place on this earth. World War Two is past. Also, World War One is past. World War Two is past. So we waiting on World War Three to take place. You understand where the whole world gonna be fighting against each other, and in the midst of that, that's where Christ gonna return. So jump back. So this is how peace was taken from the earth. Peace was taken from the earth in when? In World War One and World War Two. Right. You understand? That's that's when peace was taken from the earth. So read it again in Revelation. Revelation chapter 6 verse 4 and there went out another horse that was red and the and power was given to him that sat there on and power was given unto him that sat that sat there on read on to take peace from the earth to take peace from the earth so in world war one and world war two the so-called white man they went to war with each other and they took peace from the earth you understand was war all over the earth in World War One and World War Two, you understand. So this is what this is going into. You understand World War One and World War Two. Read on, and that they should kill one another, and they shall what? And that they should kill one another. When you read about the Holocaust that you see taking place, that took place in World War Two, when you read about that, it was prophesied that white people, Edomites, the red, the Edom, they gonna be killing each other. Right. You understand? That's what that's what the Holocaust is about. White people killing white people for rulership of this earth. Right. You understand? That's all it that's what it is about. That's what the Holocaust is about. You understand? Read that one more time again. And there went out another horse that was that was red, and power was given to him that he that, that sat thereon. To take peace from the earth. Read on. And that they should kill one another. And that they should kill one another. You understand? You had the Germans in them. 
they was rounding up the Jews and them and they were killing them. You had the American allies and them, they was fighting with the Germans and killing the Germans. You understand? You had the Germans killing the American soldiers. You understand? Killing America and what's America allies? Right. French. The French and who else? You got that. you had you had you had um Germany. Soviet Union. You had the Soviet Union. Right. You had France. You had Italy. You had all these white nations. Right. All these red nations fighting against each other and killing each other. You understand? And those people that call themselves Jews that are not, they was they was in the midst of that war and a lot of them got killed. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's what the Holocaust is about, man. White people killing white people. You understand? That's 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 what it is about. You know what I mean? Not white people killing the real Jews. It is about white people killing white people. That's what the Holocaust is about. You understand? That when that took place in World War II. Read it again. Read it again. Let it soak in. Read it again. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And... And there was given unto him a great sword. And there was given unto him a great sword. When you go back into the scripture, they tell you that Esau shall live by what? By the sword. sword. You understand? Letting you know it's talking about the nation of Edom. You understand? That's why you know it's talking about the nation of Edom. So he tell you, they that sit on the horse, he says, they shall. it was given unto them to take peace from the earth. We understand that was World War II, World War I and World War II. And not just that, it says that they will be killing each other. You understand? It says that they will be killing each other. So that is the Holocaust. You understand? So you all just learned some today. You, I'ma let you white people that's watching, t- watching too. You all learn some today, right? You understand? You all have learned some today. You know, world, the Holocaust was just about white people killing each other. World that's War Two, right? that was about white people killing each other for supremacy and rulership of this earth. Right? You understand? That's what that's what that that's what World War One and Two is about. That's what the Holocaust is about. You understand? So. All right, so what I'm going to do now, so so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get into the topic now. That was just in my mind. I just wanted to bring that up, you know? So check it. Um, what I'm what I'm going over today is the heathens that are called by God's name. I want you to go to Amos 9 and 11, and I want you to read that for me. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. In that day will I rise up, will I raise up the tabernacles of David. That is falling. So I've been touching on the tabernacle of David for a minute now. I got a series of classes I'm doing on the tabernacle of David. You know what I mean? I got a lot more to go. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the tabernacle of David is is going into the 12, 12 tribes of Israel that have been scattered in slavery throughout the four corners of the earth. That is the tabernacle of David that have fallen. Okay? So read it again one more time. In that day... Will I raise up the tabernacles of the tabernacle of David that is fallen? So the Lord said He's gonna rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, meaning He's gonna rise up and awake the twelve tribes of Israel that have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth in slavery, and close up the breaches thereof. And He's gonna close up the breaches. The breaches is the division that's amongst us. Read on. And I will raise up His ruins. And He's gonna raise up our ruins. Read on. And I will build it as in the days of old. And it's gonna be built like in the days of King Solomon. You understand? Read on. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. So it says that they may possess the remnant of Edom. Why does it says the remnant of Edom? Remember, the word Edom mean red. You understand? The word the, the word Edom is that same red horse. Is that same red horse we read in Revelation? That's Edom. You understand? But it says the remnant of Edom. Why does it says the remnant of Edom? Because it's talking about those Edomites that is that was not killed when Christ returned. Right. You know what I mean? Those Edomites that's left over that was not killed in World War Three when World War Three pop off. Those the remnant of them that was not killed they going into slavery. You understand what I'm saying? 
know what? I don't just want to talk. They might say, yo, this dude is 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 racist. He just running his mouth. Go to the scripture. Go to um, go to Isaiah. Is Isaiah sixty three? Bozra. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me get that. You know what I mean? Because there's a reason why it says remnant. You know what I mean? The remnant of Edom. Because when Christ return, after uh, when World War Three pop off, when Christ return, a lot of white people's going to die. You know what I mean? All of them is not going to die. You know, because a lot of people be asking, what about the white man? Is he going to be in the kingdom? Yes, he's going to be in the kingdom. A remnant of him is going to be in the kingdom. You understand? But he's going to be our possession. You know, we just read that in the Bible. So now read that in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Who is this coming from where? From Edom. So he said, who is this coming from Edom? Edom today, brothers and sisters, is the so-called white man. Read on. With dyed garments from Basra. Read on. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Read on. I that speak in righteousness, might, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Why, why, is, why is this man red in his apparel? This man is talking about Christ. Read on. And thy garments like him that shredded in a wine fat. And your garments look red like you were stamping on grapes. Read on. I have trodden the winepress alone. The winepress. Christ said, this man, which is Christ, he said, I trodden the winepress alone. Read on. And of the people, there was none with me. I, we, I ain't had none of my Israelite brothers with me. Read on. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. So Christ said he's going to tread them in his anger and trample them in his fury. When Christ return, it tell you in righteousness, he coming and judge and make war. And his garment going to be dipped in blood. In the blood of who? In the blood of Edom and all the nations that came against Jerusalem. That came against the Israelites. That enslaved us and had and God has showed the four corners of the earth in slavery. Read on. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. So Christ said their blood going to be sprinkled upon his garment, man. You know, so what are we reading? We're reading the Bible. You know what I mean? That's what we're reading. The Bible. We're reading Bible prophecy. You understand? Read on. That's And I will stain all my raiment. All right. So from there, I will go back to where you was at. Amos. The book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Read on. And close up the breaches thereof. Read on. And I will raise up his ruins. And I will build it as in the days of old. Read on. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. So everybody understand why it says remnant of Edom. It says remnant of Edom because a lot of Edomites, most of them is going to die in World War Three. Most of them is going to die. Christ is going to kill most of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you understand? Christ is going to kill most of them. You know? But the remnant that remain, they're going to be possessed. Right. They're going to be uh, they going to be our servants. Read on. That they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name. And the Lord says, and of all the heathens that are called by thy name. Okay, so let's touch on that right there. And all the heathens that are called by God's name. All the heathens that are called by God's name. So my question is this. My question is this. Which heathens is called by God's name? Who are called by God's name? And what is God's name? Okay, I want you to go to... um. Go to Isaiah 45 and 4. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4. Scripture! Look at it! For Jacob my servant's sake and Israel mine elect have I even called thee by thy, by thy name. I have surnamed thee though thou hast not known me. Alright, read it again. Slow. For Jacob, my servant's sake. So, so the Lord said, Jacob, my servant's sake. Read on. And Israel, mine elect. And Israel, that's who God elect is. Read on. I have even called by thee. I, I, I have even called thee by thy name. God said, he call us by thy name, Israel. You understand? Now, let me tell you something. The word Israel, 
You understand? When you Israel, the L in the in in the end of Israel, it means God. You understand? The Lord gave us that name Israel. He put that name on us. You understand? So anybody that take on that name and call themselves Israel, they are calling themselves by the name of God. You all understand me? Right. Anybody that take on that name Israel and calling themselves Israelites, they are set, they are taking on the name of God. Because God gave us that surname and his name his name is in that name Israel. You understand? Israel. The El there mean God. Mean Prince of God. Prince of the power. That's what Israel mean. Prince of the power or Prince of God. You understand? So which el- so whatever nation that call themselves Israel or Israeli. You understand? Or the Israelites. Right. That take on that name, they are calling themselves by the name of God. You feel me? So read, read that again. Read that, read that whole thing. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Read on. I have even called thee by thy name. God said, I called you that by that name. I gave you that name, and my name is in that name, Israel. Read on. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. God gave us that surname, man. Even though today we didn't know him, we all was destroyed in slavery. But God gave us that surname, Israel. You understand? Read on. Verse 5. I that's, that's our surname. Israel, that's our surname. Your surname is not Charles. Your surname is not Duke. Your surname is not these surnames that you... That you take on here in slavery. Right. You know what I mean? That's why here in IUIC, what we do. The first thing, what we do when we come into this truth and we learn that we Israel, we all change our name to Israel. Why? Because the Lord surnamed us Israel. He gave us that name Israel and he put that name on and he get and he put his name there. You understand? He put his name in that in, in, in that surname Israel and he gave us that name Israel. You know, that's why when we come to the truth, what we do, them surnames that we have, which is um, Duke, Henry, Williams, right? You know what I mean? All these names, what we do, we, we get rid of it, we cast it off. You understand? And we took, we take on the name of Israel because that's the name that God gave us. You understand? Read on, verse five. I am the Lord, and there is none else. That's it. I'm, yeah, that was it. All right, so from there, I we to go to Isaiah 44 and 5. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 5. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. So some people going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm of Jacob. And some people going to say, I'm of the Lord. Read on. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. And, and what does that mean, another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord? Meaning somebody's going to literally go and change their name. Read on. And surname himself by the name of Israel. And surname they self Israel. That's taking place today in our captivity. Why? Because a lot of us have been, we, we was brought here in slavery we was given our our slave master last name so a lot of us is changing back our name to israel you understand because in slavery we couldn't read we couldn't write you know what i mean right whatever plantation you was from that's the plantation that's the surname that you took if you was from the thomas plantation your surname will be thomas when they let you go they give you the free slate the free papers you know what i mean you 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 usually the on, on them free papers was the plantation that you come from name and that's the surname that you carry on. A lot of you brothers and sisters, you all carry on that surname today, calling yourself Thomas Dukes or Charles and all of that. But listen, those surnames that you carry and you so proud of, that's the surname of your of of your um slave master. You understand? That's the surname of your slave master, man. That's the name of your su- slave master. Right. But God gave you a name. Right. God gave you a name, which is Israel. That's right. Which is Israel. That's right. That's the name. That's the surname he gave you. 
But you want to call yourself Charles. You want to call yourself Thomas. You want to call yourself Duke. And you proud of the Duke family. You know? So go back and read it again in, um, in Amos. Amos chapter 9 verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. We done. And I will raise up his ruins. We done. And I will build it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of Edom. That they may possess. Who is the day? The day is the tabernacle of David that is risen up back. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. Meaning Edom is the white people. You understand why it says remnant? Because most of them going to be killed when Christ returns. For all the evil that they did to his people. Read on. That, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. Read on. And of all the heathen which are called by my name. So we understand what the name of God is. The name of God is that name that he put on his people. Which is Israel. Right. You understand? That's the name of God. You understand? The name that he put on his <clears throat> the name that he put on his people Israel Read on So he said that we shall possess the remnant Of the heathen that, are, that is called by God's name Alright So we know God's name is Israel So today in society You got a lot of people calling themselves Israelis We got a lot of people calling themselves Israelites A lot of nations calling themselves Israelites Right you know what I mean? The Bible says that what? That the tabernacles of David, when they are restored, they going to possess these people that calling themselves by God's name, that calling themselves Israelites. Right. You understand? So what I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into, I'm going to, I'm going to start, I'm going to go into a little history in the past and try to bring it up to the future of the heathens that have been calling themselves Israel. Or calling themselves Jews Or calling themselves by God's name You understand? When you say you are an Israelite You are calling yourself by God's name Okay? So I want you to go to um, Go to first I will go to Daniel 11 and 14 The book of Daniel chapter 11 Verse 14, verse 14. No as I said man As I said Any of you Jewish People that could prove that you all are really the Israelites of the Bible, you all come and prove it to us, man. Come and prove it to us. You understand? If you if you so-called rabbis, you all wanna prove to us the proof to the they call us black Hebrew Israelites. You all wanna prove to us that we are not the Jews and you all are the real Jews, you all come. Come and prove it to us. Prove that we are lying. You know, don't go up there and call us anti-Semitic, Shemitic, and, and, and we a hate group and all of that. No, come prove to us what we bringing out from the Torah or the Bible is a lie. That's what you got to do. You understand? Because we ain't doing you all no violence. All we doing is bringing out the truth. You understand? All Nick Cannon was doing was bringing out the truth. All these brothers that you see was speaking in the media these last couple months, that's all he was doing, bringing out the truth. We are the Jews. You know, a lot of you rabbis, so-called rabbis, Jewish rabbis, you all know that too. Right. You all know who the real Jews are. Because I catch a lot of you all saying it. Right. Dominican. You all say the Jews, the, the people in in, 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 um, in Ethiopia is Jews, the Philosians. You all say they are the Jews. You all say the, the tribe, the eat the um the eat the um the Igbo. The, the Igbo and the um the Limba tribe, you all say that they are Jews. You understand? But guess what? When it comes to us in America here, you all, you, all, you all can't see us being Jews. Come on, what sense does that make? When guess when get when we was taken from what? The e from the Ebo tribes. The same people that you all you Jewish people saying are the Jews. Right. You know, we was taken from them. You know? <laughs> you see how they contradict themselves, man. You know? Their tongue fall upon themselves. Their tongue fall upon themselves. They over there converting brothers in Nigeria saying that they are the Jew. But guess what? You Negroes in America, you are not the Jews. <laughs> you are anti Semitic. Right. You know what I mean? And guess what? That's our brothers over there. Right. We were taken from them and brought over here. Right. You understand? So let me show you all something. I want you to go to 
Daniel 11 and 14. The book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 14. As I said, we're we going to let the Bible speak for itself, man. You understand? And this is what you celebrities need to do. You all need to come and learn learn the Bible. Learn the proper understanding. If you're going to stand up and speak against the, the, the rulers of the darkness of this world and the wickedness they doing... How they how they um they took on the nationality and stole the nationality of our people, our identity. If you want to speak about that, you gotta learn the history. You gotta learn the history, and the history is right here in the Bible. You know, learn the history. Don't just go talking without 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 um unless you've been taught. You know what I mean? You gotta learn the proper understanding of the bible before you speak against these two because it's this bible that's this is what's going to confound them this is what going to destroy them you go to the same torah that they read and you show them right there in the torah that they are not the jews right that's how you deal with these with these demons you understand so read that for me man the book of daniel chapter 11 verse 14 and in those times there shall be there shall be uh in, and in those times there shall be shall many stand up against the king of the south. Also, the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision. So it says the robbers of thy people shall what? Shall exalt themselves. They shall lift up themselves, read on, to establish the vision. To establish the vision. Now, first and foremost, who is the robbers of thy people? Who be rubbing black people? You understand? Who be rubbing us? Who is the culture vultures? You know? Let's go into the history. Go to Obadiah. Let's see who be rubbing who who be rubbing who be rubbing God people. You know what I mean? Hey, was it um yeah, go, put, go to go to Obadiah and read that for me. Uh, Start at verse uh, verse five, I think. Hold on. Yeah, verse five. The book of Obadiah, chapter uh, chapter one, verse five. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, it says, if thieves come to thee, if robbers by night, who is this? Jump, jump to verse one first. Let's see who it's talking about. Verse one. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Concerning Edom. Concerning Edom, the so-called white man. Okay? So this vision is concerning Edom. Okay? Now jump to verse 5. Edom is who? Edom is the so-called Caucasian, Caucasian race on this earth. You understand? That's who Edom is, the Caucasians, which is so-called white people. That's right. Okay, read on. Verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If, if, if of them with the oh my bad, I'm jumping up. If the if grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? So I got to break that down. That got a lot of meat inside there, man. You know, so read it again one more time. I read it slowly. Verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night. If robbers by night. Remember who I'm go what I'm going over. I'm going over who is the robbers of God people. You understand? Who is the robbers? Who is robbing God people? You understand? Who are the robbers of black people? Read on. How art thou cut off? How art thou cut off, Edom? Read on. Because Edom is going to be cut off. You understand? Read on. Would they not have stolen till they had enough? Because a thief going to steal until he have enough. A robber is going to steal until he have enough. But not with the nation of Edom. Each Edom don't just come and take like he going to steal until he have enough. Esau, Esau or Edom... When he steal, he taking everything. He taking everything when he steal, man. He ain't leaving nothing back. You understand? When he when he when he rob you, he taking you. He taking your land. When he rob you, he taking your your language away from you, and give you his language. When he rob you, he taking all your gold and all your riches and all of that. 
Right. You understand? But also when he rub you, he take in your culture. He take in your identity. He also take on your identity. You saw it with um in with in Greece. You understand? When you look at in Greece, the people and them that used to live over there was who? Was Japheth. Right. You know what I mean? Esau went over there, he conquered them, and guess what? You don't see no history of Japheth there no more. You understand? The same thing here in America. You know? Um, America, the North American Indians, which is the tribe, the tribe again, they were living over here. Esau came, Esau robbed them, stole the land from them, took their language, took their heritage, and everything, man. So this is how the nation of Edom rolled. You understand? They did the same thing to the slaves that was on the west coast of Africa. You understand? When they stole us and brought us on this side of the world, you know, they took our language. They took our culture. Right. They took they took everything, man. Our language, everything. And then what did they do? They also took on our identity. Right. They also took on our identity. Now I'm explaining to you, brothers and sisters, the rubbers of our people. You understand? Who is the rubbers of our people? The rubbers of our people is talking about the nation of Edom. That's who the robbers of our people is talking about. The nation of Edom. Read on. If grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? You know, other nations, they would have leave some grapes. If a grape gatherer got in grapes, they're going to leave something there. But not Esau, not the so-called white man. Read on. How are the things of Esau searched out? So the things of Esau is what? The things of Esau, y'all got to remember the context that this is being read, that this is being written in. The things of Esau is the thing that, how is the things of Esau sort up is going into the things that he stole, the things that he rubbed, you understand? The things that he's hiding, that he did in the past. How is that sort up? You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you how it's sort up. How it is sort up, the spirit of God going to come back on this earth, is back on this earth, and revealing all the evil that this man did. That's and right. all the lies that this man have told us. You know what I mean? That's how it's sort up. The spirit of God is back on this earth, and guess what? We are finding out, yo, they've been lying to us. Our history go further than Africa. You understand? Listen, we are, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. This demon been lying to us. And they set themselves up as the real Jews. You know what I mean? So that's what that's what's going on, right? That's how the hidden things of Esau are being sought up. You understand? The prophets of God is back on the earth and they are and they are um and the Lord is showing them these things and they are revealing it to the world. So that's why these these white Jewish people is mad. You know, that's why they mad. <coughs> so read um I want you to jump to verse um you got more on that? Uh, now nah, jump, jump to verse, jump uh, to verse, verse, jump to verse, jump to verse eight. Verse eight. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the the mount of Esau? So that's the, that's what God God said He gonna destroy all the wise men of Edom. That goes into the scientists and, 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 and all the astrologers, all the, you know what I mean? All the wise people and all the people that's called wise here on this earth today. Read on. Verse 9. And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. So that's what's going to happen. It says all, all of them of the mount of Esau going to be cut off by slaughter, man. Read on. Verse 10. For thy, vi for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. For the what? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. So the robbers of thy people is talking about Edom. God says because of the violence that Esau did to his brother Jacob. Jacob is talking about Israel. He's talking about the 12 tribes of Israel. He's talking about you blacks and Hispanics here in America. He's talking about you North American Indians. He's talking about you, you brothers that's over there in Nigeria. You understand? He's talking about you brothers, Israel that been scattered throughout Africa. Israel that been scattered in, in South Africa. Israel that been scattered in Egypt. He's talking about us. The violence that 
that Edom have done to us. Read on. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall, come, shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. So this is for you brothers that have white people in your congregation, that have Edomites in your congregation. You're trying to save the white man. You want to save the white man. You want to marry the white woman. You know, this scripture is for you. The scripture says they're going to be cut off forever, man. You can't save them. You can't save white people, man. For the violence that they did, Y'all you you don't watch the history, child. Y'all don't understand the history that what they did to us when they brought us over here on them slave ships. You know what I mean? Not just that. What it's literally talking about here is what they did to us when the ancient Babylonians came and conquered Jerusalem. That is what Obadiah is talking about here. You know what I mean? When the ancient Babylonians came and conquered Jerusalem, the robbers of God people, which is the nation of Edom, you understand? They did us much violence, man. But let's read Let's read what they did. Keep on reading. In that day, verse 11, in that day, in that day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of them. He says, the Lord says, Obadiah says, listen. Either Esau, Edom, you white people, even you was one of them. You was there in Jerusalem. You understand? When the ancient Babylonians came and conquered us. Even till this day, even you was one of them. You took part, the so-called Jewish community, the Jewish people, they took part in slavery and destroying us. You understand? Right. Because at the time, they know we were the real Jews when they was doing what they was doing. And they still did it. You understand? Read on. Verse 12. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest, thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. So God said you should not have entered into that gate in the day of our calamity you should have never took part in the destruction destroying of our people back then it's going into as i said it's going into ancient um babylon when they came when babylon came and destroyed us but it's also going in today it's also going into today read on verse 14 neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off his Neither shouldst thou stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither shouldst thou have delivered up those of, of his that did remain in the day of distress. All right, so jump back, jump back to Daniel. Because what I'm trying to show you all, <clears throat> the rubbers of thy people, right? When Jerusalem was conquered by the ancient Babylonians, you know, the nation of Edom, white people, you know, they was there, and they was rubbing, they was, any, any of us try to escape, they was gathering us up, they was selling us as slaves, you understand? Even back then, you know what I mean? And they was also looting and rubbing Jerusalem, you know? They entered into the gates of the city too with the ancient Babylonians, and they was looting and rubbing Jerusalem. That's what they were doing, you understand? So, jump back to Daniel and read that again. Daniel chapter 11 verse 14 and they took everything when they came in they took everything that's what Obadiah is going into you understand read on and in those times there shall many stand up against the king of the south also the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves so it says the robbers of God people shall exalt themselves meaning they gonna lift themselves up Read on. To establish the vision. And the vision that they're trying to establish is what? The vision that they're trying to establish is that they are the Jews. That's the vision. And I'm going to show you all why people have been trying to do this for throughout the ages. Throughout the ages, they've been always envious of us. They always hated us. And they always wanted to take our nationality away from us they always wanted to take our heritage away from us i'm going to go into the scriptures and show you all that now i want you to go to um first i want to go to first um i want to go to maccabees
Maccabees 3. No, Maccabees 6 and 6. Second Maccabees 6 and 6. Second Maccabees chapter 6, verse 6. Scripture! Lord it! Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts. So when the Greeks when the Greeks came against us, and Greeks, the Greeks, we all know the Greeks is white people. When the Greeks came against us, right? They set laws up that we can't read, we can't write. They, they, they set up laws that we can't keep our high holy days no more. You understand? They said, keep on reading. Or profess himself at all to be a Jew. And they set up laws that where you cannot even call yourself a Jew. That's what the Greeks did. The Greeks set up laws where you couldn't even call yourself a Jew. You couldn't say you were an Israelite. Neither could you keep the laws nor, nor the, high, the high holy days and so forth. This is what Edom did. This is what the white men did. This is what the Greeks did. The same spirit, the same spirit is the same spirit that's working in all these devils, man. You understand? Every last one of them is like a spirit is working in them to, to, to destroy us. It's like a spirit working in, been working for, in them ever since to take that, take our nationality that they are the Jews. Right. That, you know what I mean? And set themselves up and exalt themselves and establish the vision. It's a spirit that been working ever since back then, but the Lord did never allow it back then. Right. You feel what I'm saying? It's a spirit been working in Esau to establish that vision throughout for centuries that they are the Jews. And this is what we read in that they were, they, they were, I'm going to show you all some. So it says, read it again. Second Maccabees chapter 6 verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts. So it wasn't lawful to keep Sabbath day or ancient feasts, you know? Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Or profess yourself to be a Jew, read on. And in the day of the king's birth, I right, so from there I wait to jump to second. I wait to jump to first Maccabees three and forty-eight. I'm gonna show you all some. Because remember, this is what they did. They say we cannot call ourselves a Jew no more. We can't keep the Sabbath no more. We can't keep none of the high holy days no more. You know what I mean? They said, don't eat. You can't even call yourself a Jew. But why are they setting up them laws that we can't call ourselves Jews and so forth? This is what the Greeks was doing on the, on the other hand. The right hand, they're doing that. And on the left hand, they're doing some. Let's see what they was doing. Read. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law. So they laid open the book of the law. Read on. Wherein the heathen had, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So as they taken, as they stopping us from, from, from doing what? From observing, from calling on ourselves Jews. As they stopping us from um, observing our laws and so forth. What else they did? What else they were doing? They was, they was taking the Bible and painting their images inside there. You understand? That's what, that's what the Greeks was doing. To do what? To establish the vision that what? That they are the Jews. Right. You know, that's what they was doing. As they make up laws and telling you, telling you, don't call yourself a Jew. Don't keep the Sabbath day or, or keep the Torah no more. What are they doing? They write it, they painting their images in the Bible to establish the vision. They're trying to set themselves up as a Jew. So when you read the Bible and you read about Moses, guess who you're gonna see? White people. You read about you read about um you read about um Noah, what guess what you're gonna see? White people. You read about Paul, what you gonna see? White people. Right. You know what I mean? You read about Amen. Moses, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, what you gonna see? White people. You know, that's what they was doing in the time of the Greeks. Right. But it told you that our forefathers, Matthias and his sons, Judah Maccabees and Simon, what they, and Simon and Jonathan, they fought and took the book away from them, man. You know what I mean? So the vision at that time, it, they couldn't fulfill it. It, it. it didn't prosper, man. They was not able to establish the vision, man. Which is what? The vision is, is them setting themselves up as the people of God. Them calling themselves by God's name, which is Israel. You understand? That is the vision that they've been trying to set up. You know? So read that. Uh, where I'm at? First Maccabees. Read that again. Three, verse 48. And, la and laid open the book of the law. So they laid open the Bible. Read on. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. And they tried to put their images in the Bible. 
You understand? And another thing too, if the if the image is in the Bible, if the Jews was white at that time, why would they have to change the images? It's because the Jews was always black. That's why they had to change the images to white. You understand? If because if the Greeks is white people, we know that. Right. You understand? The Greeks is white people. So if the Israelites were white people also, guess what? They didn't have to go into the Bible and change their image. You understand what I'm saying? So from there, I'm going to show you all something, man. I want you to go to... I want you to go to... Let me see. Go to First Kings. First King, No, Second Kings 7 and 22. Now, what I'm going to show you all is right through history. You always had heathens trying to convert to our customs and our laws and trying, to, and trying to take on the identity of them being Israelites. You know what I mean? Right through history, you always had heathens doing that. And I'm going to show you all, I'm going to show you all right through history, different, different people and different Edomites that took, our, took on the name of God, that call themselves Israel. You understand? Same thing you all seen today with the with the, with all these Jewish people. You understand all these people that wish they were Jews. You understand the same thing you all seen with them today. They took on that. They call themselves by the name of God. They are not the real Jews. And when we tell them that they angry, they mad because we speak truth. Read that for me. You want Second Kings seventeen and twenty-two? Yes, yeah, Second Kings seventeen and twenty-two. Second Kings chapter seventeen. Yeah, man, listen, we're going to shut down all these lies that you all been teaching out here, man. All these lies going to be shut down. <laughs> yeah. Second Kings chapter 17, verse 22. For the children of Israel walk, walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. They departed not from them. Read, read, read on. Until, verse 23, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight. So the Lord removed Israel out of his sight. Okay, read on. As he had said by all his servants, the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. So we was taken out of our own land. This is talking about the ten tribes. We was taken out, the ten tribes were taken out of the land and they was taken to Assyria. All right, read on. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Kuta and from Ava and from Hamath and from, and from Sepharvaim and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. So we, it had people that was placed in the land of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. You understand? There were people set in that land. Okay. Read on. And place them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children so, of Israel. So, so this is called displacement. You know, like when, when a kingdom or a ruler ruling or conquer somebody, instead of leaving them in their own land, they usually what the Assyrians was doing, the Assyrians will uproot them and put them in, an, in another land. You understand? Take them away from all their friends, their culture and all of that. Right. That's what the Assyrians used to do. Right. You know, the Persians and the Medes, they were rather like they were, they ruled different. You know, the Persians and the Medes, they wouldn't uproot you. You know, I, I guess that's how they keep the people from revolting against them. Right. They're going to allow you to keep your laws and your customs and so forth. Right. But you won't just have to be subject unto them. You know what I mean? And pay them tribute. That was the Persians and the Medes. You know what I mean? But the Assyrians, when they was ruling the world, you know, if they conquer you, they're going to uproot you and put you in another land. Right. You understand? So that when they conquered um, the ten tribes of Israel, they uproot them and put them in, a, in um, took them to Assyria and other lands. You feel what I'm saying? And what they did, they bring other nations and put them in the land of, of, um, of Israel, in the land of Samaria. Okay? Which where the northern kingdom of Israel was dwelling. But keep on reading. And they possess Samaria. And dwelt in the cities thereof. Read on. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not the Lord. Therefore, the Lord sent lions among them, which slew some of them. So these people that the king of Assyria put in the land, in the, in the land of the northern kingdom, in the land of Samaria, these people, they was not keeping the law. So what I want you all to understand Brothers and sisters, the land of Israel is spiritual. The land of Zion 
is a spiritual place, man. You know, the 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 land is of Zion is the Garden of Eden. You understand? And I can prove that. And it's a spiritual place. Once you start, once you in that land and you ain't keeping God laws, that land gonna spit you out. Right. You know what I mean? The land is gonna be a wasteland. It's not gonna flourish. Right. You understand? So right here, you got the the king of Assyria. He took out the people out of that land. He took out the ten tribes out of that land, and he put he put who in the land? He put people of other nations in the land, and the other people of the other nations was doing much wickedness in the land. If you know what I'm saying? And what end up happening? What end up happening? Wild animals start coming and killing everybody in the land. <laughs> it gets right, so right, bad, right. like they like, damn, why is this happening? Why is oh, why is everybody being killed by wild animals and stuff? Right. The king of Assyria, he was so that he got a, you know, he wondering why this is happening. But keep on reading. And they possess, and they possess Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. You so in the beginning of their dwelling there, that they feared not the Lord. Therefore, the Lord sent lions among them, which slew some of them. So the lions came and was killing them. Read on. Wherefore, they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the God of the land. So they says, listen, the people that you put there, they don't know the manner of the God of the land. You understand? The lions is coming and killing the people. You understand? Read on. Therefore, he had sent lions among them. And behold, they slay them because they know not the manner of the God of the land. You know? Then the king, then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, "Carry thither one of the priests whom ye brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there." Because guess what? He said, "Carry one of the priests that you brought from thence, because the priests and them, what they did, they took the priests and took them to Nineveh." So he said, "Take one of the priests and bring them yeah. back to the land." Right. Into the land of Samaria. Okay, read on. And let him teach them the manner of the God of the land. So, and let him teach who? Let him teach them heathens in, that's in that land. Teach them what? Teach them the laws of the Bible. You understand? That's that's what the priest, the, the priest came back and was doing. Was teaching them the laws of the Bible. You understand? Read on. Then one of the priests whom they have carried away from Samaria came and dwelt in Bethel. And taught them how they should fear the Lord. And he taught them God laws. So these heathens, they were caught, they were taught God laws. You understand? Read on. How be it? Every nation made gods of their own and put them in the houses of the high places which the Samaritans had made. All right. So from there, where you at? Uh, that was, that was verse 29. Okay, so from there, so I want you all to pay attention. What's happening? What what we just read there is that when the ten tribes of Israel was taken out of the land of Samaria and the neighboring countries, it told you that the king of Assyria put other nations there in that land, and the other nations that was in that land, it tell you that that lions was was killing them because why they come into the land and they was doing wickedness. You know, so the lions, so the God, it says the Lord sent lions to, to kill them, for, kill them. You know, and they went and they complained to the king of Assyria and the king of Assyria sent, send, um, send a, a priest to teach these people in the land how to live in that land. You know what I mean? So the priest taught them God laws. You understand? So now I'm going to jump. So this is, this is in the time of the Assyrians, right? So now we're going to jump. In the future, are we to go to Ezra 4 and 1? So now we're going to jump to the future. We're going to jump forward now. When Israel was released out of captivity. When Cyrus, the king of Persia, released us out of slavery. And we went up to Jerusalem to rebuild. When we went back to Jerusalem to rebuild... Guess where them people was? They were still in the land. You understand what I'm saying? Them right. people were still in the land, in that land. Them and their descendants. And then people, guess what they were doing? They were keeping the laws. You understand? Right. They, they even considered themselves Jew, Jewish or Israelites. You know what I mean? But read that for me. The book of Ezra, chapter 4, verse 1. Scripture! Look at it! 
Now, when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity built builded the temple unto the Lord God of that? Israel. You hear that? You hear that? He says the adversary of Judah and Benjamin. You understand? Because Benji always rule with Judah and hold Judah down. You understand? That's right. <laughs> Jump a bomb for that preaching. Disconnect. <laughs> you see? He's disconnected. Yeah, his brother's disconnected, man. <laughs> you know? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, so read that. Read that again, man. Now, when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity built the temple unto the Lord God of Israel. So the adversary of Judah and Benjamin, when they heard that the temple was being rebuilt, read on. They came to Zerubbabel. They came to who? To Zerubbabel. Read on. And to the, and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do. So, so you all hear that. You all hear what they're saying, right? You hear what these heathens saying. You heard what the enemies of Judah and Benjamin saying. You know, who is these people that we're reading about here? These people we're reading about here is the same people we read about in um in Second Kings. 17, 24. 17 and 24. It's the same people that the king of Assyria uprooted and put in that land. And brought a Levi priest and that Levi priest taught them the commandments of God. Taught them taught them the commandments of the of of the uh of of god okay so so now read it again one more time verse two then they came to zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them let us build with you so they said we want to build with you we want to build a temple with you this is heathens talking here you understand heathens this is heathens that is that calling themselves jews that observing our customs this is heathen stalking here. Read on. For we seek your God. And, and they say, we seek your God. As you do. As you do. The same way how you doing sacrifices and you keeping the Sabbath and you eating kosher food and all of that. We doing all of that. We seeking your God just like you seeking your God. We doing the same thing you doing. Why they able to say that? Because the priest taught it to them. Right. You understand? Read on. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Asaradon, king of Assur. So a king of a king of Assur is going into the king of Assyria. Yeah. You understand? And they say they've been doing it ever since back then. You know what I mean? As I said, these people is people that the king of Assyria put in that land. So they came to to um they came to um Zerubbabel and telling them, listen. We seeking God just like you. Let us help you build a temple. You know, let us be one. Let's, let, let, let us help you and so forth. We just like you. We Jewish. You understand? We Israelites just like you. You understand? We keep, we serving the God. We serving your God just like you. You understand? This is what they saying. But let's see what Zerubbabel said. Zerubbabel said. Let's see what Zerubbabel said to these heathens that is called by God's name. These heathens that converted to being Jews. You understand? To live in the land. Verse 3. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us. So he said, listen, you got nothing to do with us, man. You know what I mean? And is that that's the same thing. We we that's the same thing here. The same the same viewpoint that we have towards all the whole Jewish community. You know? All of you all. You understand? You Orthodox Jews, you Zionist Jews, the um Al Kanazi what they Ashkenazi. Call? Ashkenazi Jews. You know what I mean? All of you all. This is what this is our viewpoint when it comes to you all saying that oh we jews too just like you we jewish right this is our viewpoint towards you all. right you understand read it again you have nothing to do with us you to have nothing to do with us you have nothing to do with the nation of israel you are convert right you convert to judaism you understand you have nothing to do with the god of israel that's right you understand read it again ye have nothing to do with us to build a house unto our God. We gonna build the tabernacles of David by ourselves. You understand? Read on. But ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel. We know as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, had commanded us. Because the, the king of the king of Persia gave us liberty to go and rebuild. We know 
Verse 4. Then the people of the land weakened the hand of the people of Judah. Because this is what they do, man. When, when, when white people, when you tell them you don't want them to help you, you don't want them to take part in what you're doing, or, or they can't be a part of what you're doing, a lot of them get angry and secretly try to destroy you, man. You know what I mean? That's what they do. That's what they did to Nick Cannon. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they're doing to all these people that are rising up and calling themselves and, and, and it's coming back to the, 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 the truth that they are the Israelites according to the Bible. And another thing they're doing too, they're going to these third world countries, these, these, these countries where our people were scattered and they are converting them to Judaism. They're saying, we are brothers. Right. Let me teach you how to serve the God of Israel. You know what I mean? Let me teach you. We brothers, we the same people. That's what these 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 moms is doing, man. You understand? That's what they doing. Okay? So, from there, I want you to go. What I'm showing you all, I'm showing you the history of heathens that are called by God's name, man. That's what I'm showing you all. I'm showing you all history of heathens that are called by God's name. You know? So, from there, I want you to go to... I want you to go to, let me see, e Esther 8 and 17. It's not the, today is not the first time you had people running around calling themselves Jews or Jewish. You know what I mean? Or Yehuda. Or Israel. It's not the first time. Right through history, you're going to read. Right through history here about people always converting and trying to steal our culture from us, man. Culture vultures. Right through history, you will always hear about it. You know what I mean? So read that for me. The book of Esther, chapter 8, verse 17. And in every province and in every city, whatsoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Jews had joy and gladness, a feast and a good day. This is talking about Purim. This is talking about when that Edomite Haman tried to wipe us out. You know what I mean? That Edomite Haman was conspiring to kill all the Jews in all the provenance. That's why we celebrate Purim. But this is what took place. But when we dealt with that demon, when the Lord helped us, you know what I mean, through Mordecai and, 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 and Esther, you know what I mean? When the Lord helped us, we, we dealt with, with him and all of them men that, that tried to, that tried to um, destroy us. You know, that's why we celebrate Purim. But I want you all to see what took place after after um after that. I want you, I want you all to see what took place. Keep on reading. And many of the people No, no this took place under the Persians and the Medes. Read it again from the top. Verse 17. Uh, Esther chapter 8 verse 17 In every province and in every city Whatsoever the king's commandment and his decree came The Jews had joy and gladness A feast and a good day And many of the people of the land became Jews And many of the people of the land did what? Became Jews So you had the heathens in the time of, in the time of Mordecai and, and, and Queen Esther You had heathens that convert to Judah to, to being a Jew. You understand? You had heathens that convert to being Israelites in the time of Queen, in the time of Mordecai and Queen Esther. Right. You understand? You know, so what I'm showing you all is right through history. You always had people that will that try to convert to being Israel. That people that's that that is called by God's name. That heathens that is called by God's name. Right through history. You know what I mean? But the main culprit is Esau Edom, man. They are the main robbers of God's people. You understand? The so-called white man. Because when they rub, they ain't just take, they, you know, they, they, they taking everything, man. You know? So what I'm going to show you all now, I'm jumping up ahead now. I'm jumping to, to the time of Christ. You feel what I'm saying? I'm jumping to the time of Christ. Okay? What took place in the time of Christ? In the time of Christ, was there heathens that are called by God's name in the time of Christ? Let's see. Um, I want you to... What I want you to do... I want you to... I got some articles there. Let me see which one I want. And... Hold on there. I want, I want, you got high cranius? Yeah, pull up high cranius.
Now I'm going to the time of Christ now to see, to show you all. In the time of Christ, there was heathens also at that time that were called by God's name. You know? Okay. Uh, yeah. Start reading from the top. Blow it up a little bit. What I really want is to the bottom, but keep read read that little top from the top. Okay. John Hyacranus the first, born 175 BC, died 104 BC. High priest and ruler of the Jewish nation from 135 slash 134 BC to 135 to 134 to 104 BC. Under his reign, the Hasmonean kingdom of Judea in ancient Palestine attained power and great prosperity. And the Pharisees, a scholarly sect with the popular backing, and the Sadducees, an aristocrat, aristocratic, aristocratic sect that comprised the priesthood, became well-defined religious parties. Okay, so you all understand that Hycranius... He came from the Hasmonean dynasty. Now the Hasmonean dynasty is going into the is going into is, is going into the Maccabeus dynasty. You know what I mean? Because um, Hasmonean, his his I think his father was Simon. Simon was one of the Simon Simon was one of the sons of Matthias. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Latin. Simon was Judah Maccabees brother right you know so that family that family right there they was the they was running things you feel me right so their their family they, that whole lineage is called the hasmonean the hasmonean dynasty right. you feel what i'm saying when simon died after simon died they call them the hasmonean dynasty so John Hycranius, he came from the Hasmonean dynasty, and he was the high priest and, and, and the ruler of Jerusalem. You understand? Keep on, keep on, um... Yeah, bring it back up. Scroll down. Scroll long, scroll long. All right, it's good. Hycranius was the youngest son of Simon Maccabees. Maccabees. Thus a member of the Hasmonean dynasty, so-called after an ancestor named Hasmonius. In 137 BC, he and his brother Judas commanded the force that heroically repelled the invasion of, the, of Judea led by Sendibus, the general of the Syrian king Antiochus, the, what's that, the seventh? The Greeks. Basically talking about the Greeks. When the Greeks came against us, you understand? Um, Matthias and his son, the Hasmonean dynasty, they fought off the Greeks. Right. You understand? They fought the white men off. When the white man tried to take our Bible and paint his image in our Bible, they fought him off. Okay, keep on reading. In 135 BC, Hycranus, brother-in-law, Ptolemy, the governor of Jericho, assassinated Hycranus' father and two elder brothers. Hycranus then succeeded to the high priesthood and the supreme authority in Judea. So he was the supreme authority in Judea, Hycranus. Okay, now... Jump all the way down. Jump, go down. Mm. Has money dynasty? Hold on. Yeah, John Hycranius. Now, let's go down. Hycranius was the youngest son. Now, just keep on reading there. Right here? Yeah, yeah. Keep reading what you was reading. Oh, go back up. Yeah. No, no, no. Right there, right there. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um... Governor assassinated Hycranus' father and two elder brothers. Hycranus then succeeded to the high priesthood and the supreme authority in Judea. The remainder of, of Hycranus' reign was marked by his efforts to punish his enemies, ward off the Syrians, and enlarge Judea's boundaries. Although he struggled in vain to destroy Ptolemy, he successfully thwarted Syrian incursion by alliance with Rome and conquered the unfriendly neighboring ter territories of Samaria and Idumea, Edom. He forced Idumea to convert to Judaism. So you hear that? It says that Hycranius, John Hycranius, he forced Idumea to do what? To convert to Judaism. So, so it says he fought I. He, he, um, he forced Idumia. Idumia 
I do know is another word for Edom. Edom is white people. You understand? The word Edom is the ancient name for white people. Right. You understand? White people branched off from Edom. Some of them left and went, and they start as they start countries and cities. You know, you got that's how you got Macedonia. Right. You know, that's descendants of Edom. They left and they went to Macedonia and they start city a city there. You know what I mean? Then you had the Greeks. You know what I mean? All them Greek cities is people from Edom that went to these places and start cities there. Right. You have the Romans. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? It's the same. Is 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 white people or Edomites? People that left from Edom migrated and started that city in Rome. Right. You know what I mean? But all of them is the same people. You know, the same way how today you got what? You got America. You got the American white people. You know what I mean? American Edomite. Then you got French Edomite. You know, people went to France and they start and build a city there. And they, you know, and then you got, um, you got, Ro um, you got, um, give me some other places east. So you got, um, Russia. Right. You got, you got, um, you got, I said France already. You got, you got Germany. Germany. You got Spain. You got Spain. You got Italy. You got Italy. You got, Italy. you got all these different places right. that white people went and they form a country right. and established city. You know what I mean? But all of them originated from Edom. Right. You understand? You got the Israeli. They, this, they are Esau, Edomites that went, that was put in that land. You understand? That call themselves Jewish. Right. You know what I mean? So this is why I'm showing you all. I'm showing you all. What I'm showing you all is Hycranius. He forced the Edomites to convert to Judaism if they wanted to stay in the land that they was in. They said, listen, you all got to convert to Judaism. Now go to Antipater. Antipater is Antipater. Am I saying it right? Antipater. You got it. You got it. You got it. Antipater. Okay. Antipater. Idumean governor of Judea. So now, this is why I want you all to understand. Now, Antipater, he was what? Read that again. Scroll back up. A Antipater, Idumean governor of Judea. So he was a governor of Judea, Antipater. You understand? He was a governor of Judea. Remember what I brought up concerning John Hycranius. He forced... Edom, white people, to convert to Judaism. Right. The ancient white people, which they name is Edom, he, he forced them that was living in that land, the land of Edom, you know, when he told you that John Hycranius took over the territory and so forth, but he forced these, these Edomites to convert to Judaism. Hellenized. You know what I mean? He Hellenized them. <laughs> he forced them to convert to Judaism, and he says, so Antipater... He's of of them people that was forced to convert to Judaism. But I want you all to see what took place. Keep um, read read that again. Antipater died 43 B.C. Idumean founder of the Herodian dynasty in Palestine. So that's the founder of the what? Of the Herodian dynasty in Palestine. The Herodian dynasty is the descendants of Herod. You understand? And as I go into this, I'm going to show you all who the descendants of Herod is. You feel me? Now, I want you to um, keep on reading. Antipater gained power in Judea by making himself useful to the Romans. In return for Antipater's support, Caesar appointed him procur procurator of Judea in 47 BC. So you see who put Antipater as governor over Judea? Was not the Jews. It was Caesar. Right. You understand? It was Rome. Right. Why did Rome put him up as governor over the Jews? Because they were the same people. They both were Edomite. Antipater was an Edomite. He was a white man. And also, Rome is white people. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You know? So he was put up as governor over Judea. All right, read on. Although Antipater was assassinated by a political rival four years later, his son Herod the first, the great Herod the first, the great, was later made king of Judea by the Romans. So Herod the great, his son, was made king 
over to there, man. Herod the Great. So when, when you read about Herod in the Bible, Herod was the son of Antipater. Antipater was an Edomite. You understand? Antipater was from the land of Edom. You know, Antipater was forced to convert to Judaism. Not to, Ju not to Judaism, to the, to the laws of the Israelites. Right. You understand? Antipater was, him and his people was forced to convert to our laws. You know what I mean? And what did he do? Antipater, he ended up rising up in authority. He ended up, I think he ended up killing High Cranius when you read the history. He ended up killing High Cranius. And then you had Herod the Great. I know he ended up killing High Cranius. And Rome gave him power and set him up as governor right. over Jerusalem. Judea. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Over Judea. You know, after he was killed, he was assassinated. Then his son, Herod the Great, rose up. Another white guy. Right. You understand? But what I'm showing you all, all these people we're reading about, Antipater, Herod, you know what I mean? They, the, the Herodians, they all were Jewish people. Bring it they, out. They all were white people that is called by God's name. Right. Herod was not an Israelite. His father, Antipater, was not an Israelite. Right. Felix was not an Israelite. That's right. You understand? They were Herodians. Who are the Herodians? They were Edomite converts to, to, to being Israelites. That's who they are. You know, so what they end up doing? The Herodians and them. They were ruling over Jerusalem. You understand? That's what they were doing. Rome set them up to rule over Jerusalem. And, and, and listen, man. As I tell you Jewish people, man. You all want to prove us wrong? Come. Reach out to us. Our number. You go on our website. Get our number. Reach out to us and prove us wrong, man. Reach out to us and prove us wrong. You know? So, we understand that. Antipater and Herod, they all were Edomites. Edomites is white people, right? Now, let me get the family tree. I'll send you the family tree there. Let me show you all, let me show you all the family tree, man. You know, you white people, you, you, you Jewish people that call yourself Jews, call yourself Israelites, you call yourself by God's name, man. You all understand how dangerous that is. But I know what it is. I know what it is. It's not there. I know what it is, man. You know, you teach a dog. You tell a dog that he's a. You tell a dog that he's a cat for for years. You know what I mean? That dog gonna grow up thinking that he's a cat. You understand? I already know what it is. And that dog gonna teach his puppies that he's a, that the puppies is a cat. And you know, and you gonna ask the puppies, and the, and the puppies gonna teach their puppies that they are cats. No, you got dogs running around like cats. Right. You know what I mean? You got dogs running around by, like cats now. And when you ask the third generation or fourth generation dog, you ask him, you say, listen, what are you? You ask that dog, what are you? The dog going to say, I'm a cat. And the dog going to strongly believe that he is a cat. You know what I mean? Why? Because his forefathers told him what? That he is a cat. Right. But he's not a cat. You understand what I'm saying? He's not a cat. Because at the time when these people call themselves Jewish, they understood that they were not the real Jews. They knew they converted. You know what I mean? But as time goes by, their kids really strongly believe that they are the real Jews. Right. And how was they able to do this? They enslaved the real Jews. They made sure they couldn't read or write. They colonialized them on, on the other side of the world and destroyed them also. You understand? To, to erase the remembrance that we are the Jews from existence. Right. That's what they do. And they whitewash everything. That's what they do. You know what I mean? So you got a lot of dogs running around here thinking that they cats. Right. You got a lot of white people running around thinking that they are Jews. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm going to show you all with a sh without the shadow of a doubt. 
I'm going to show you all who these people are. Right. If you want to say to the king of Judea, which was Herod, he was a white boy, man. Right. He was an Edomite, you know? He, he was a convert. Can I mention one point real quick? Yeah. Earlier when, uh, for your brothers and sisters, earlier when Deacon had mentioned the Herodians. When Deacon said the Herodians, he's talking about the descendants of Herod. And it's Peter Herod and going down that line, his family line. Because we are aware in the New Testament you had a political set, sect that was called the Herodians. Yep. Th but those were Jake. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the direct family line of Herod. That family line. Esau, Eba. Hey, hey, but even the Herodians, right? Mm -hmm. It was Jake and it was also his descendants right. supporting right. That, that, that family. Right. You know, you had a couple of Jakes supporting it, and you also had his family members and them. That was a, the political party, you know what I mean? Right. They, all, his, all of them is, Herodi is Herodians, all of them. Right. You know what I mean? All the Herod descendants, them Jewish, them Jewish white boys, they all is Herodians, but you also had black people that were supporting them for political gain and for right. money. Hello, you hello. understand? Yeah, that was supporting the Herodians, you know? Right. So, huh? Family, family tree. Oh, I didn't send it? Okay, okay, so pull that thing up. You know what I mean? Let me show you all. Um, I'm going to pull up um, Auntie Peter family tree. No, I tell you, man. You know, what's going on right now, man, is that these, all these Jewish people is... All, every lie that these that white people have taught to us, man, it's being shown that yo, like we all of it is being revealed, man. Right. You know what I mean, we can read now. That's right. We can read now. That's right. You understand? We can read now. <laughs> yo, so check it. So check it, bam. That is the Herodian dynasty, right? The Herodian dynasty. No. Um, you, when you look up there, you see Antipater the first, you see Antipater the second, and Antipater the second, he had, um, what's that? He had Herod the Great, and then you had, um, he had Joseph, he had, who's Pharaoh, that? Pharaoh Ross. Right. Pharaoh, Pharaoh Ross. Okay, and then, okay, come closer. And then you got Herod the Great, he had who? He had, no, Herod the Great, you see, Mero, Mero, Me, Mero, Me, oh. Miriam. The first. The first. Miriam the first, what Herod the Great did, Miriam the first, that was one of, that was John Hycranius' daughter. You know what I mean? So what he did, he married her. Mm -hmm. I think he married her, then he killed her. After he married her, right. he married her because the Jews and them was, was turning against him because it was like, yo, you are not the rightful ruler of Judea. Right. So he married, he married John Hycranius' daughter. You understand? To 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 make his arm um, to empower himself even right. more. Political move. Yeah, yeah right. that was a political move, political marriage for the right. Jews, for our forefathers to keep quiet. You know what I mean? And when you look there, you see Cleopatra, you see Darius, you see Antipater there again. You see Antipater again, you see Joseph, you see Cusparus, you see Bernice. When you read the Bible, you're going to read about Bernice. You, you, um, you're going to read about... Um, Philip. Philip. And Aristobulus. You know, you're going to read about Agrippa. Right. You know, when you read the Bible, you read about all these people. Yeah, you read about Felix. Remember Felix that Paul went before? All these people was Jewish converts. It was white people that convert to being Israelites. Right. You understand? The whole Herodian dynasty. You know, so this is the history right here, man. This is, these are the things that, these are the things that these celebrities got to learn before they go up against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Bring it out. So they could shut them down, man. Bring it out. You know what I mean? You brothers and sisters, you all come and learn, man. You all come and learn. Come and learn before you all go up against these people. Don't just be running your mouth and you don't know the history. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You must be able to go into the Bible and show them the, the, the lies that they're teaching. You can't tell them, oh, you all lied to me, and then you can show them how they lie. And you cannot show them how they lie to you. You feel what I'm saying? Then you look stupid. Then guess what you got to do? You got to go apologize and stuff. Right. You know what I mean? So Felix, Bernice, 
All these people you see here, you hear about you when you read the New Testament, you read about them. Right. All these people is Herodians. Right. All these people is uh, uh, is Antipater descendants. Right. Is Herod descendants. You understand? They were Jewish. They are so-called Jewish people. You understand? Right. Meaning they convert to to um to being a Jew. Meaning they. They keep the laws. They look like a Jew. They, you know what I mean? But they're not the real Jew. That's they right. They pretend it to a Jew. You understand? That's what the word ish mean. Right. Okay, so from there. Huh? All right, so that anything else on that? Let me see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I want you to go to Acts 12 and 1. The book of Acts. Chapter 12, verse 1. Sorry. Book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 1. Now, about that time, Herod, the king, stretched forth his hand to vex a certain of the church. So Herod, the king, as I said, it was a, was a, was a convert to being an Israelite. Herod the king, he was converted to be an Israelite. He was a heathen that was called by God's name. Right. He was a heathen that was set up over God, God land to rule over God people by Rome. You understand? Read on. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. So this is what Herod did, man. He stretched out his hand and he was afflicting the followers of Christ. And it says that he killed James, the brother of who? Of John. The brother of John, man. You understand? This is what this white demon did. This Jewish demon. You know, I ain't sleeping on these, on these mumses, man. You know what I mean? These mumses eventually, guess what? They go to silence us. To silence us. They gonna try to put hands on us and kill us, man. Right. That's what they gonna gotta do. You know? Read on. And. Verse 3, and because he saw it pleased the Jews. Because guess what? A lot of our people going to be glad to see us out of the way, man. Including Israelite people that call themselves right. Israelites. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Not just Criffalo Dollar. Not just T.D. Jakes. I know T.D. Jakes, he going to be happy as hell to get us out of the way. Because we, Bishop been going into him hard. <laughs> Bishop been setting a fire behind, below his behind, man. <laughs> you know, so I know he going to be glad to get us out of the way. You know, he said, these dudes messing with my money. They making me look stupid. I can't do it. He go to the white man. He said, you know, man, they making me look stupid, man. I can't do this. You know, just play your... They, they, yo, Esau tell him, yo, just play your role, man. You know what I mean? You know, do another, do another class next week. Another you know sermon. I mean? another, yeah. se another sermon saying love, teaching the people how to love the Jewish people. Right. How to love white people. You know what I mean? Don't worry. Just keep... Just play your role. You know? Let's do damage control. Let's do damage control. You know? <laughs> TD like, I can't take it. <laughs> I can't stand that dude. Bishop Nathaniel. <laughs> Yo, you know what I mean? Can't build a church off a bag of potato chips. <laughs> Yo. I'm losing too much people. Everybody's leaving the church. Yo, listen. Yeah, man. So check it. Where we at? Read uh, that again. Acts chapter 12, verse 3. And because he saw it please the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then, so, he, so he, he also took Peter to kill Peter. But the Lord had mercy upon Peter, man. You know what I mean? The, more, the Lord had mercy upon Peter, and Peter, they tell you the door, the, the prison was shaking, and Peter was let go, man. Angels came and saved him. You understand? Wasn't Peter time as yet? You feel me? Wasn't Peter time as yet? But when he keep on reading, they tell you Rome killed Peter. You understand? Nero killed Peter. Right. You know, so from there, um, from there, I want you to go to, uh, I want you to go to, let me see. Go to Matthew 14 and 1. Yeah. i read that. Now, as I've shown you all, I'm showing you all the heathens that are called by God's name. You know what I mean? I went into, in the time of Christ, you had, you had King Herod. You had, you had Ant Antipater. You know what I mean? You had Felix. You had all the Herodians and them. You know what I mean? They all will convert. They all the, the Herodians. They all will will um converts. 
they all were Israelites converts. They will they will be called Jewish today. Okay? Read that for me. The book of Matthew chapter 14 verse 1. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. So when he heard about the fame of Jesus, Herod the king, you know what I mean? He said, yo, he said, this is John the Baptist. Read on. He has risen from the dead. He came back from the dead. <laughs> he said, yo, John, because remember, this demon, he cut John the Baptist's head off. Right. You know what I mean? So he hear all the, all the thing. The fame of Christ went out throughout Jerusalem, and he throughout all the land, and he heard what Christ was doing. He said, damn. He said, that's John the Baptist that came back, man. You know, he like, yo. <laughs> he was scared, man. <laughs> The same way all these moms are getting scared when they hear us teach this Bible. Right. You know what I'm saying? The same way all they get scared when they hear us teach this Bible, man. You know? So Esau, Edom, the robbers of God people, they always been trying to establish the vision that they are the Jews. You know what I mean? They always been trying to establish that vision, man. You know, but the Bible says that they going all we gonna possess all the heathens. That call by God name. Meaning all of you heathens that call yourself Yahuda. All you heathens that call yourself Israel. That call yourself Israelites. You going you going God says you're gonna be possessed. No. No. Let me jump on to another sect of Jews. Now Deacon Iton went over these, went over this like three weeks ago or two weeks ago. I think three weeks ago. You know, Bishop also went into to, to this, this set of Jews that I'm about to mention. Bishop also went into it in depth. Um, Captain Isaac went into it in depth. You know what I mean? So if you brothers want to get the in-depth on it, you all could watch a Deacon Iton class, I think three weeks ago. Or you could go on IUIC in the classroom and pull up the Bishop class. Or I think Captain Isaac went into it too. So yo... You know what I mean? If y'all want to go into it in depth, y'all could go that way. Right. You understand? But um, a lot of the people that call themselves the Jews today, they descended from Russia and from Germany. Right. You understand? They are called the Ashkenazi Jews. That's what they call themselves. Yes, right? sir. You got it right. You got it right. Right. They are called the Ashkenazi Jews. Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. That song German, too. Yes, it is. I mean, it's called the Ashkenazi Jews. You know what I mean? They came from Germany. They came from Russia and all these places. You know, these is most of the people that's in Jerusalem today. Now, when you go into the history, these people is descended from the Khazars. You understand me? The Ashkenazi Jews, they are... They descended from the Khazars and they have converted to being Jews. They convert to being Israelites. And right through the history, right, you can find it in history books, as I tell you, brothers, brothers went over that in depth. You know what I mean? Bishop went over that in depth. You know what I mean? We got the history book. So guess what? You're Kia Light away, yo. You're right. Kia Light away, yo. For real. You know? <laughs> you right. cannot light us. You know what I mean? We got all the history on your on you mumsers, man. We got all the history and guess where the history coming from? The history coming from your own books. Your books. Because in your mind you say these niggas will never learn to read. That's what you taught. But guess what? We can read now. We can read now, man. That's right. You understand? So guess what? You know, the Alkanazi Jews, even the Jews, even a lot of these Jewish guys in them, they say they understand that the that these people are not the real Jews. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Even the even the Jewish people in them, they understand that. I'm talking about the scholars. You know, the most of you, the most of you dogs that are running around, you're calling yourself cat still. You know what I mean? Because your great 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 grandfather told you you was a cat. Your great 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 grandfather told you that you was a Jew. You know what I mean? So now you really thinking that you are a Jew. Right. But guess what? You are not. You are not Yehuda. You understand? The real Jews. Yehudi. 
your hoodie, your hoodie, you got your hoodie. You know what I mean? The rascal, the dummy color. <laughs> you don't know, yo. So check it. Now they might say, yo, why he talking like that? Why he talking like that, yo? Yo, listen. As I tell, we ain't showing you all no mercy when it come to these scriptures. I want you to tear down. No, let me get that tear down. Let me get that. Cast on every imagination, yo. You know, we ain't playing no games with you, mum, mum, mumzers, man. You know what I mean? We ain't playing no, 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 no games with you, Kazars. You know? We ain't playing no games with you, huh? You all, you all, you all, you all had a big role to play in the destruction of the slaves here in America, man. In the slave show the Caribbean island. You all had a big role to play in the destruction of God people, man. And because why? You all know when God people was destroyed, when God people is destroyed, you are going to be able to establish that vision that you all are the real Jews. You all know once God people is destroyed, you are going to be able to establish that vision. That, that is what you all do, man. That is what you all did. You know? So, yo. Oh, okay. So, read that for me, okay? Yeah. All right. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Casting down. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. That's why I said we ain't showing you all no mercy. Every, every, every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. The knowledge of God says that the Jews are scattered into slavery. The knowledge of God says that the Jews are black. Our job is to cast down any imagination. Anybody come around talking about they're the real Jews and they are not. Our job is to cast it down, man. That's right. You know what I mean? That's our job. You know, you should have never, you should have never took the name of God, man. That's you know what I mean? That's why the scripture says that we shall possess the heathens that are called by God's name. Right. You know what I mean? You Kazars, you all are calling yourself Israelites. That's God's name. You all are not the real Jews. You know, so now let me get go back to um Go back, huh? Here's a little more. Alright, read on. And bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Right? So from there, I will jump back to Amos 9 and 11. Amos 9 and 11. Then I'm going to show you all some clips of Esau scholars, so-called rabbis. You know what I mean? Saying that, saying that they are not Jew, that the Jews are the Khazars, man. You know, as I tell you, you all need in-depth histories on the Khazars. Deacon Aitan went over a class a couple weeks ago. Isaac did a class on it. Bishop did a class on it. You all could go. And they go, they went deep in depth on who the Khazars is. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, Amos chapter 9, verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. So the tabernacle of David that is fallen, the Lord says, he going to rise us up. You know what I mean? We have been fallen away in slavery. Our nationality was taken from us. We no longer know that we are the Jews. The robbers of God people have robbed us and took our nationality from us and told us lies. But God says what? In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. Read on. And close up the breaches thereof. Read on. And I will raise up his ruins. And I will build it. As in the days of old. Read on. They, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. So we may possess the remnant of Edom. The remnant of Edom, Edom is the so-called white man. The remnant of them that is left over. Meaning those that was not killed when Christ returned. Because everybody is not going to be killed. When you read the scripture, some of them going to go and hide in these bunkers and stuff like that. Right. But the scripture said we're going to go get them from inside of these caves and holes that they were going to be hiding in. Keep on reading. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. Read on. And of, and of all the heathen which are called by my name. And all the heathens that are called by God's name. All you other nations that are calling themselves Israelites and you are not the Israelites. You know what I mean? God says you gonna be all, that we're going to possess all of you that is called by God's name, man. Now, let me go to Revelation 2 and 9 and read that. This Revelation 2 and 9 says the same thing that Amos says. That the ending part of Amos said, Amos 9 and 11 says. 
You know what I mean? Revelation 2 and 9 says the same thing. Read that for me. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So Christ says he know our works, he know our tribulation, and he know our poverty. Because the real Jews going to be what? We're going to be in tribulation. You understand meaning what? We are being oppressed here in the land of our captivity. You know, we are being labeled all type of names. Uh, we are being labeled a hate group. We are being labeled. Christ know the tribulations that we are going through. He says, he and he know our poverty because we are poor. You understand? We struggling to make ends meet. You know? We don't. But thou art rich. But Christ says that we are rich. You understand? We don't. We are rich. Why? Because we learn this gospel. We learn this truth that we are the Israelites. So we are rich spiritually. We don't. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. So Christ said what? Read it again. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. So Christ says he know the lies. He know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Which people on this earth is saying they are Jews and they are not? Which people on this earth is saying they are Jews and they are not? It's talking about the descendants of the Khazars, man. Right. It's talking about the what? The Ashkenazi? Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi Jews, man. Right. You know what I mean? It's talking about all you heathens, all you white people that call yourself Jew, Jewish. Right. That's what it's talking about. In the time of Christ, it was talking about the Herodians. You feel what I'm saying? But now it's you it's talking about. Christ says, I know, and this is a future prophecy. That's what this is. You know what I mean? That's what this is. This is a future prophecy. Christ says, I know the blasphemy of them which call themselves Jews and they are not. Back then you had a group of people calling themselves Jews and they were not and today you got people calling themselves Jews and they are not. But Christ called them what? Synagogue. But I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews and are not. You know what? And I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. But they say that you are the synagogues of Satan. That's what you are. All you Ashkenazi Jews, you all are the synagogues of Satan, man. You all is of the rulers of the darkness of this world. You understand? That's who you are. You are the synagogues of Satan. That's what Jesus Christ said. You feel what I'm saying? That's right. Okay. It, they, you also got the Sephardic. They are the synagogue, synagogue of Satan also. Right. All, right. All of you Jews, Jewish people that call by God's name, all of you all are the synagogues of Satan. That's right. No matter what term you call yourself up from. Right. No matter which part of the world you come from. You feel what I'm saying? You're Middle Eastern. You're European. You are the synagogues of Satan, man. You understand? That's so right. jump to three and nine. Revelations chapter three, verse nine. This is how you know this is future tense. Christ was not just talking about that time with the Herodians. You know what I mean? He also talking about this time. Right. And this is how you know that. Read on. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Did that take place? Did that take place in the time of Christ? It did that take place in the time of John the Revelator when this was written? Did that happen to this church? Nope. No. So what? that's how we know this is talking about the future. Christ is talking about the future. A group of people going to come and they're going to call themselves Jews, but they are not. But Christ said, listen, I'm going to make them come and worship before thy feet. And know what? And what? And to know that I have loved thee. And, and to know that the Most High loved us. When he says he's going to make them come and worship before your feet, it goes into the same thing Amos 9 and 11 says. That we may possess the remnant of, 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 Edom, the, of, of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name. And we're going to possess all the heathen that is called by God's name. God's name is Israel. 
You understand? That's the name that he gave to his people. That so when you take on that name, you take it on God's name. You feel what I'm saying? So we everybody that call themselves Jewish, that call themselves Judah, that call themselves an Israelite, this Bible says we're gonna possess them. The Bible says they're gonna bow before your feet and know that the Lord has loved you. That's you understand? Good. Now, let's play some videos real quick and then sh let's play some videos real quick. I'm gonna play some videos with these colors. Okay, nah. Yeah, play that, uh, play that. <coughs> the notes. Churches don't teach this. It's because they don't want to get in the struggle either. Uh oh. They don't want to make it quote unquote racially motivated. People, this has nothing to do with racially oriented. Uh -oh, I'm gonna Eli say that again. This has nothing to do with being racially oriented. This is biblical. Amen. Amen. I'm going to repeat that. This is biblical. Amen. These are biblical people. If they weren't, why are they in the Bible? If, if God didn't want you to see this, then why did he write it? He did it because it has to do with his story. I'm saying, your forefathers, now walk with me, walk with me, don't miss this. Because 98% of everybody out there, believe that their root starts in Africa. So they call themselves Black African Americans. And really what they should be talking to themselves is they are what? The Hebrews and the Jews of the original temple of the city of David. And the Dikenti cloth that you find in this, in, that most black culture uses as African cloth is the center cloth that was used in Solomon's temple and his mobile moving tabernacle. So where did you get that cloth from? Moses' mobile moving tabernacle. How did Moses get it? Because he was married to Zipporah and also right, an Ethiopian woman. The other video. And except yeah. You have. Uh something big happening is in Nigeria you have the Igbo people or Igbo pronounced either way there's 40 million of them also Christians like I spoke about before how that could happen to the children of Israel very easily but also a lot of them are now coming out and converting back or adopting the, the rules of the Torah without all the paganism that they've been practicing for hundreds of years there's been books written about it from scholars in Nigeria, from scholars from the Jewish people. And where it gets interesting is, in America, there was a slave trade. And a lot of the slaves, a very high percentage of them, came from Western Nigerian ports. And in America today, you see a, a very large movement of African Americans who say that they're the real chosen people, that they're the children of Israel, they're the Judeans. You know, so what are they just trying to create a, an identity for themselves because they were slaves, or is there really something here? And the answer is most likely there is something there, and most likely maybe that they were the original Israelites, and maybe that the Jewish people today who are white Caucasian Pause people. <laughs> Yo, you heard what the rabbi, you heard what the so-called rabbi said. <laughs> Did he just said there is something, and that. Probably we are the real Israelites. Most likely. Most likely. This is their scholars. You know what I mean? Why? why this is their scholars saying this. Keep on playing. Um, came in a little bit later on. We know that some of the greatest sages of the transmission of the Torah were converts from Rome. You have a man named Unclus who, who wrote a commentary on the Torah, unprecedented, that we still learn today. He was a convert. Some of the largest pillars on the transmission today were Roman converts. So here we are, we're, you know, I'm speaking, we're ca Caucasian Jewish people. And now you have people in Africa saying that they're the real people of Israel. It can't be ruled out at all. We know they were sold into slavery. We know now that they're fulfilling prophecies by saying we're coming... All right, let me see the other one.
Hello and welcome to Whoever You Thought You Were, You're a Jew, the TV show that teaches the ignored truths of history. We also teach this concept over here when we try to get away from this one, the golden calf. Today's show is called Race. And I can't think of a subject where the expression, the ignored truths of history, is more apt than this one. When we talk about race, we're talking about that group of people that white people sometimes call niggers. I wonder how many of you actually know what that word means. You will by the end of this show. Now, <clears throat> if I were to tell you that blacks once had a great culture which exceeded the culture of whites, you probably find that pretty incredible. But we're talking about the ignored truths of history. Those of you who've been watching this show may perhaps recall that several weeks ago, we talked about the fact that most of the Jews alive in the world today may actually be descendants of Russian converts. Now, Jews like to consider themselves to be descendants of Israel. So the facts that Russia was once a Jewish nation for 500 years, in fact, and that most Jews who are alive today may be more closely descended from Attila the Hun than from King Solomon, these are facts which are just glaring facts. And it's incredible that such things could be ignored. And the question of how such things could be ignored has an answer. And the answer is collusion. All the parties involved have silently agreed even perhaps without ever talking to each other. They've silently agreed to just not discuss this subject. In the case of the Russian Khazar Jews, it's embarrassing and frightening to Jews to consider the possibility that they may actually be descendants of converts and may pause, have to Israeli pause. blood. So, so this, dude, this dude right here, this white scholar, you know what I mean? He says a collusion taking place, meaning what? A conspiracy. You know? That's why they don't want to talk about certain things. That's why they don't want to talk about these people that call themselves Jewish today being descendants of the Khazars. It's, he says that it frightened it frightened them. Right. You know what I mean? The Ashkenazi Jews it's frightened them when we bring out history that listen, you are not the real Jews. Right. It's fright it's it frightening them. You got me? So uh, take that off. Let me see the another video. I got a couple of them. Oh, and also, hey, pull up the that law that that um Trump signed, and send that send send it there. That law that 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 executive order that that Trump put out a couple months ago. It's like a file. I sent it like a file. are the real Shemites. But who else are the real Shemites? There are other anti-Zionist, non-Ashkenazi, Torah-keeping Jews worldwide that are the true Shemites, just like the Yemenite Jews and the black African Shemites. And I most probably shouldn't go here, but I will anyway. You see, after the destruction of the temple, yes, many of the Jews, the poor Jews, remained in the land, but there was a migration as well of the more affluent Jews to Yemen and to other parts of Africa. Other parts of Africa. You see, the black African Shemites were actually then taken away in slave ships. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And who were the owners of these slave ships? Who were the biggest slavers in the 16th century? The Ashkenazi 
were the biggest slavers in the 16th and 17th century going into the 18th century. You see, Ashkenazi slaving was huge. This is from, I have to be careful when I say this, so my sources, it's always best to go with Jewish sources, right? Because you just, tr you just trod on a bunch of toes. So we'll go with the Jewish sources. There's a ton of sources out there, but I'll stick with the Jewish ones because that's just safer. The Jewish scholar Jonathan Shorshek says this, Jewish merchants routine, routinely possessed enormous numbers of slaves temporarily before selling them off. If a slave auction fell on a Jewish festival, it was postponed due to lack of buyers and sellers. The Jews of Suriname gave their slave plantations Hebrew names such as Machanaim, Nachamu, and Goshen. Rab Rabbi Herbert Bloom adds that the slave trade was one of the most important Jewish activities. In 1694, Jews owned 9,000 African Shemites. Jewish slaving is in fact confirmed by the Jewish encyclopedia. So in the days that we live, there's nothing more important than this Malki Zedek message to the true Shemites. Because this Malki Zedek message of the true Shemites is the solution. Okay then. <clears throat> so he said the message to the true Shemites, meaning what are you really saying the true Jews, that's that's the that's that's really what gonna that's what gonna really help the earth. That's what gonna change things on this earth. You know what I mean? The true message. The true message is that the real Jews are black. The true message is that the Israelites have been scattered throughout the four corners of sl in slavery. When you read Deuteronomy 28, you understand? This, this is the true message. This is the gospel that we are preaching, the gospel of Christ, man. The gospel of Christ is that Israel went into slavery. Our people went into slavery throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And we have been destroyed in slavery. And Christ came and died to redeem us from our sins, man. From, our, from the curse of the law. Meaning all these curses that came upon us, Christ came to redeem us from it, man. That we ain't got to serve our enemies with fear no more. We, just, we ain't going to be scared to call ourselves Israelites or Jews no more. You understand? But yo, I want you all to see this. This is an executive order that Trump signed into law last year. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I want to read this. Okay, read that. Read that for me. Okay. It's from the, oh, this from the Washington Post. Why does President Trump's executive order to fight anti-Semitism is dangerous? Is dangerous to, for Jews? Uh, okay, okay, I really want to keep going now. Scroll down. This is the first paragraph. News of pre President Trump, President Trump's recent executive order to combat anti-Semitism on college campuses set off a firestorm online. To use title four of the civil was that six i'm sorry of the civil rights act to fight discrimination against jews jews would have to be defined under that law as a nationality or a race so the jews and them the jews before this date before last year the jewish people they was never identified as a race of people they followed Jula, Judaism, which is a religion. Right. You know what I mean? They was not identified as being a nationality. You feel what I'm saying? They were never identified as being the real people. Right. So what they did, what Trump did right here, he's put this law, he signed this law to recognize the Jewish people or the Jewish Judaism as being a nationality. You feel what I'm saying? That's what he did. So in him doing this, in him doing that, guess what? If you speak against the Jew, um, Jewish Jewish people and say that they are not the real Jews, guess what? You know what I mean? Um, you you can't do it on campuses. If you do it, you could um, you got government programs or so forth. It gonna be pulled. You feel what I'm saying? You all see the war that they are setting up against us, man. You all see what they are doing. 
you got the president signing executive order. You know what I mean? Stating that Judaism or the people, the the um the the Al-Kanazis and all these different terms and people that call themselves Jewish, that they are the that they are the real Jews. You understand? Yeah. What Trump is doing here, he's trying to establish the vision. Right. You know what I mean? The vision to do what? To set up white people as the Jews, man. You understand? To set up the rubbers of thy people as the Jews, as the real Jews. You know? So read that again. Uh, to use uh, to use Title VI of the Civil Rights Act to fight discrimination against Jews. Jews would have to be defined under that law as a nationality or a race, since Title VI does not address discrimination against religious groups. Because the, being Jew, Judaism is a religious group. It's a bunch of white people that convert to Judaism, and they know that. That's in the history. The world know it. All these other nations know it. You know what I mean? Right. The people in Palestine, they know it. The people in Egypt, they know it. You know what I mean? But what what is happening here in him, in him, um, in Trump signing that law, guess what? If you follow in Judaism now, guess what? That's your nationality is 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 a Jew. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So now they can hit you with anti Semitism laws, um, uh, speech and so forth, hate speech, you know what I mean? Where you could go to jail. This is this is what they're trying to set up, man. You know, you go meet the point where if you call yourself a Jew, you say you are Israelite, you blacks and Hispanic on this side of the world, they're going to say you anti-Semitic, they're going to put you in jail. Right. Same thing they were trying to do in the time of the Greeks. They're charged for racial discrimination. Yup, yup, yup. You know what I mean? So. There's it, a little sentence right there in okay. the beginning of the second paragraph. He says, but the vast majority of the Jews in the United States do not see themselves as a separate nationality or a race. Yo, more fire up on that, yo. <clears throat> fire! Yes, Israel. Yes, Israel. So we coming to the end of the show. You feel me? I hope you all got some understanding. Got some knowledge. You know, you know what? Hey, go back to Daniel and read that again, man. The book go, of... Daniel. 11. The, yeah, Daniel. 11, of people. Daniel 11 and 14. The book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 14. Verse 14. And in those times, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. Also, the robbers of thy people. Also, the robbers of thy people, read on. Shall exalt themselves. They shall exalt themselves, read on. To establish the vision. To, to establish the vision. The vision that they are the Jews. You know what I mean? That they are the Israelites, read on. But they shall fail. But God says they gonna fail. Is that what Trump doing? You see what Trump doing? He signed an executive order. It don't matter. That don't say that don't mean nothing. They gonna fail. You feel what I'm saying? Fire. Why they gonna fail? Go back to go back to Amos 9 and 11 and read that for me. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. The reason why they're going to fail is because the tabernacle of David is rising up, man. The real That's Jews right? is rising up. Right? You understand? Read on. And close up the breaches thereof. And the breaches is being closed, closed up. Read on. And I will raise up his ruins. Read on. And I will build it as in the days of old. Read on. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. Read on. And of all the heathen which are called by my name. So this is what's going to ultimately take place when Christ returns, man. All you heathens that are called by God's name. No, no being, no Judaism is a nationality. You understand? No, Judaism is a nationality. You, you take on the name of Judah, Yahuda. You understand? You take on the, any other name of the, of the names that God gave his people. You are calling yourself by God's name, man. You understand? And the Bible says judgment for that. You understand? It's That's judgment right. written for that. That's you right. Know? So Israel, I hope you all get some out of the topic. You know what I mean? I hope you all feeling good. I hope you all get some knowledge. 
You understand? I hope you all understanding is growing. Yo, hey, you all been getting it. Yo, yo, you all been getting some serious knowledge from from us, man. The bishop he be going into some crazy stuff. You know what I mean? The Knighton be going into some crazy stuff. You know, the captains and them be going into some crazy stuff, man. You know, you are getting it seven days of the week, yo. That's right. Yeah, I mean, Deacon Yao Sabi be going into some crazy stuff. You know, I be here every, yo, yo, you are getting it seven days of the week, man. For real. You all absorb this knowledge that you are getting, man. Because you never know when they're going to try to shut us off of YouTube, man. You understand? Granted. Don't take it for granted. Absorb all the knowledge that you're getting, man. Make sure you study the Bible, man. Make sure you study what we've been teaching you, man. You understand what I'm saying? You know, don't let this this escape you, man. For real. You understand? So, yo, um, Israel, you know, uh, as I said, right now, the spirit that I'm in, the spirit that I'm in right now, is it's like it's just bringing out certain things you know what i mean bringing out the history and all of that you know what i mean that's the spirit that we're in right now revealing who the devil is you understand Re revealing who these demons is bringing things know, back to our remembrance bringing things back to your remembrance that's the spirit man that's the spirit man right now yo you understand me for real no praises you see so yo with that you know lord's will next week we're gonna get the lines open you know what I mean? We're going we gonna to have you all call in and so forth. You know, soon we're going to try to bring, you know, as I said, we just working out the kinks in the armor. Soon we're going to start by bringing guests on the show and so forth. Right. You know, soon we're going to be, we're going to be opening up the fire boot. You understand? For you artists that want to come and spit some fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? So, yo. Fire! You done know. So, yo. Huh? Yes, this guy, man. So, yo, it's man. Y'all yo, <laughs> already know, man. So, y'all stay safe, stay strong. You know what I mean? And y'all stay in the spirit, man. You know, and don't let no man take your crown. That's Boom. right. That's right. That, 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 controlling the 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 um the it brothers that's yeah. in the spirit today you know what i mean that um that's there doing their thing you know shout out to all of you brothers that 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 doing your thing man what's yeah. the brother name again we got jordan oh uh, yeah we got jordan, jordan. jordan. We, got know, we got jordan here you know what i mean we got joel here you know we got eliel here you know what i mean we got um lazarus here you know lazarus Lazabi. You know, Lazarus, he gonna be one of the DJs. You know, now I got two DJs. You know what I mean? For real. So, so um, as I said, in the beginning of the show, I'm gonna try to have the DJ and them do their thing, bring you on some nice vibes and thing. You know what I mean? So, bring you on some of the new music that we got here in IUIC. Latest. And also, the latest music. You know, and also some of the, give you all some nice, old school Benjamin Conscious music too. You understand? So... With that, brothers and sisters, I say shalom. DJ Els, do your thing. Yeah. Dream Team. Dream Team. Benja by tonight area. Okay. 100 to my last day, day. Before I hit the streets, always gotta pray. pray. Run into the spot on the block with the work non stop. Make it hot, pop, pay, let us pray. Might be a one way trip. Yeah. Me and my brothers at the strip. Warfare strapped up, came up out the whip. Then we marched hey, eight. Spot, hey, block, hey, little whip, hey, little whip. No fear, dog, get a grip, get a grip. Might be a one way trip. Yeah. Strapped up, came up out the whip. Then we marched hey, eight. Spot, hey, block, hey, little hey, whip, let it rip. I don't need a mic, I need a reader. Speak the block reader. We gon' put it down, no line, no meter. Shout out to the teachers. Two man can't bring an Easter. Call it what you want, huh? You gon' feel the heat out of beat. If a heretic approach, we gon' beat him. Spread the fall alive. Chairs turn the heat up on the meter. Like it's nothing, you ain't running from the Reaper. Your mama ain't either. Or Big Bone Sheila. Running behind a woman, he gon' turn your ass to Cedar. Bang, bang with it. If you need it, we gon' feed you. Ain't nothing to get instructions from the leaders. You ready for a change? Bring it to the people. Brothers standing bold, purple gold with no equals. Hold the dead line, that's a sign of a Hebrew. We ain't worried about his life, ready to die for this kingdom. Believe it. Might be a one way trip. Yeah. 
Me and my brothers at the strip. Warfare, trapped up, came up by the whip. Then we marched in, got paid, lot lit, lit, lit. No fear, dog, get a grip, get a grip. Might be a one way trip. Yeah, strapped up, came up by the whip. Then we marched in, got paid, lot lit, 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 lit. I miss a day, then I probably feel away. Wait, rolling with the pack, so you know we on the way. Face like rocks and a spot never pay. And we come back in a choke hole for the day. day. City gon' flood, cause we come with the way. Hey, shout out to the elders for the way y'all pay. Yeah, double honest for the hard work, get engaged. Always get the real from the start to the grave. Hey, NY Detroit, shout out to the A. Yeah, game plan, then we run a bless where you stay. Yeah, worldwide, never really think small ways. Came for the sheep, then you dogs got paid. Yeah, Hello, he said he got something for the racks. Wow, go to the cars and I can't. Send if you need not any sort of on them. Yo, blocks. Anywhere with that, where with that. Running more than I want me a sack. Mama said, Ezra's run, set the top. Samurai Prince, get the young me a sack. Yo, be easy, easy. Anywhere with that, where with that. Where your talks off, where your sack, where your sack. Send for the Urim, Urim, Samurai Prince, get the young me a sack. Love me, why can't you say? Love me, why can't you say? Send for the south and the north, all hell broke loose when you say we combine. Love me, why can't you say? Love me, why can't you say? Send for the south and the north, all hell broke loose when you say we combine. Them I get them ammunition, I'll hold them copper ready. ready. What if I'm a mommy, saggle up, I'll strap it ready. Me and the troops step on the scene, grim. Love me, why fear, never loop, warm them at the ready. You know me never into a business, if the boy I beg. Ah. If you diss the 12 rule boy, then you're dead. Fifth rib one time, then me take off me head. Meditate for I pull for your set. Your judgment time come around. Come around. I'll be a soldier surround the compound. Come Body lion death, send for the own. Israel I run things, put on the crown. Nice. I'll be a tough dog, no we need dung and then I cry. I feel your time, remember. I be a eye, chop off me head, on the top, some are right. Israel, so now put a bar cry. Anywhere with that, what with that? Run him out and I want me a set. Mama said, let's run, set the top. Some are right, praise me, the young me a set. Yo, busy, easy. Anywhere with that, what with that? Boy, I talk tough, where you set? Where you set? Send for the urim, urim, some are right, praise me, the young me a set. Love me, why can't you set? Love me, why can't you set? Send for the urim, urim, some are right, praise me, the young me a set. Change again, as a cabin, I'm gonna meet you as a man again. One by one, we go hunt them again. Christ and the 12 tribes unite again. We bring Jaja army from earth again. Fire brimstone from Babylon again. Anywhere we dead, where we dead. Run them out and I want me a set. Mama said, let's run, set it off. Samurai praise me, the young me a set. Yo, easy, easy. Anywhere we dead, where we dead. Boy, I talk tough, where you set, where you set. Send for the Urim, Urim, Samurai praise me, the young me a set. Love you, I can't. Where you set? Love you, I can't. Yo, energy. Send for the south and the north. All hell broke loose when you say we combine. Love you, I can't. Where you set? Love you, I can't. Yo, send for the south and the north. All hell broke loose when you say we combine. The high priest never run out of fire. Guns never empty.